All right, Shalom, Rocket the Hour, Rocket the Al Shai, Rocket the Hour, Rocket the Al Shai, Call Lord Yahweh Bashing Al Shai, Bashing Rakal Kadash. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Son and the name of the Holy Spirit. Shun Yaqabad Lahazakwanim Shah Yasha Allah, that's double honors to the elders of Israel, all right, which we know as the apostles and elders of GMS. Shalom wa Barakim, Laha Bakharim, that's peace and blessings to the elect, all right. I'm the brother Shemashawan. This is the brother Nahamu. All right, we're just gonna uh, we're on our way to camp. We're just gonna do a quick lesson. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-seven, verse fifteen. It says, "For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy." All right, the high and lofty one. That's talking about the Most High Yahweh. Okay, the supreme being Yahweh. Okay, that inhabiteth eternity. All right, because the heavenly Father He liveth forever. All right. Like it says in Deuteronomy, I, I lift up my hand to heaven and I live it forever, okay? Whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and lofty place with him also that is of a contrite and a humble spirit, all right? Because the Lord is dealing with the meek and lowly, all right? It says to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones, okay? Yahweh Bashin Shah is our power, okay? The Lord gives us give us us strength. Okay, so it says to revive the heart, to to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contract. All right, I want to go into that word revive. All right, revive. It's the he Hebrew word. Uh, it says to live, have life, remain alive, sustain life, live pros prosperously, live forever, be quickened, be alive, be restored to life or health. Okay? The Lord giveth us life. Alright? This is the book of uh, Joshua. All right, chapter 1, verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. And where does this book of the law come from? It comes from the Heavenly Father through His Son. All right, Yahweh Shai is known as the Word of the Heavenly Father. And we're, we're to meditate upon Yahweh Shai, all right, the Heavenly Father's Word, day and night. It says, That thou mayest observe and to do according to all that is there, all that is written therein. Okay. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Okay. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 6. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Okay? Yahweh Bashin Yahshai is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? Through our power, the power of Jacob, the power of Isaac, the power of Abraham. Okay? Through the knowledge that they've given the men of the Lord. All right? That's how you receive life, true life, eternal life. Okay? This. I'm going to pull up on this so they can see it. What, what scripture? Yes, yeah, uh, Acts 4 and 12. Okay. This is the book of uh, Acts, chapter 4. I'll read it for you. Verse uh, 12. All right. It says, Neither is there any, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Yeah, that's right, man. The only way we're going to get uh, saved and delivered and delivered. You know, out of this low estate and out of these uh, these mortal earthly bodies is through the name Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And then, you know, that's the only way to deliverance and immortality. All right? And that and we have the name, you know? So, you know, Lord's will, we hold fast to the name and, and uh, you know, we be elected to uh, to receive that glory, you know? Cool. I got precept. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 10. All right? Verse All right um, Start at verse 35 It says Cast not away 
Therefore, your confidence, all right? And you go into that word confidence. It's broken down con, meaning with, fidence, uh, going into fide, meaning faith. So cast not away your faith, okay? Because through faith, you obtain that salvation. Faith in the name of the Lord, you obtain that salvation, all right? So Hebrews 10 and 35 says, cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward, all right? And like the brother was going into, what is that? That reward is immortality. All right, that, that reward is life, okay? We're seeking life. We're seeking after Yahweh by Shem Yahusha. Because Yahweh Shah, like we just read, is life. He's the way, the truth, and life, okay? I got another precept. This is the book of John. All right, this is the book of John, chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 11. All right, this is John 1 and 11. It says, He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Speaking of Yahweh Shai, when he came back 2,000 years ago, he came unto his own, okay? But his own received him not. Majority of the Israelites, okay, two thirds is the majority of the Israelites. Most of our people are going to reject the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? They're going to reject the way, the truth, and the life, okay? And they're going to, uh, they're going to cleave unto death. Okay, verse 12 it says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of Yahweh, even to them that believe on his name. Okay, so those that believe on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and that receive his word, his testimony, are granted and have been given power to become the Yashar Allah. He is the prince of the power. Okay, verse 13. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of men, but of the heavenly Father. Okay? Born again. Okay? That's what it truly means to be born again. Okay? To become new living creatures. All right? To be washed by the word. Okay? Of this, of this, of these scriptures. Okay? This is uh, the book of St. John chapter 3. All right? And um, verse five, Yahweh shall answer. Actually, you know what? We'll start from the. We'll start from. Uh, we'll start at verse three. This is Saint John three and three. All right, Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. All right. Just like it said in St. John 1, 13, all right? The ones that are that are going to um, become the sons of the living power, they're going to be born, not of flesh and not of blood, but of the of the spirit, of the heavenly father, okay? So Yahweh Shai is saying unto Nicodemus, he said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. Verse 4, Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Okay, because he was simple. He didn't understand the saying that Yahweh Shai spoke. He literally thought that he had to go back into the womb of his mother. But that's not what Yahweh Shai was, was talking of, speaking of. This is verse 5. Yahweh Shai answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Okay? So you gotta be born of the water and the spirit, okay? You gotta, you gotta be born. You gotta receive this word, okay? You gotta forsake the ways and the teachings and the philosophies that the world taught you, all right? And you gotta cleave onto the ways, the the truth and the life. Yahweh Shah, this word, okay? Verse six: That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say thee, ye must be born again. Okay? The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell where it cometh and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. That's right. That's why when you see men of the Lord breaking down the scriptures, a little bit of here, a little bit of there, you don't know you don't know where they're gonna go because they're born of the spirit. That's a sign of a, of a man that is born of the spirit. You got a precept, Buck? Yeah, uh, I get Revelation 19 and 10.